and welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. Alright, so in between uh, episodes I leveled up my crafting a bit by basically just making sure and shoving all my scrap iron onto it. Actually, where is that? Yep, there it is. I basically just took a shirt and shoved a bunch of scrap iron onto it to the point where it literally has zero stats now. Like, it gives me nothing if I put this on. Anyways, I also uh, got myself a couple pieces of glue. I got those from those, uh, what are they called? High Orcs down in Yolkmere Cave. So yeah, that should help. So now we can make some shoes. We can also make mail, but I don't think my crafting is high enough yet. Actually, no, scratch that. I could make some shoes if I weren't on the verge of passing out. Or on the verge of uh, running out of RP. Here, let me go take a bath first. Oh, I also forgot to get the piece I need for the belt. I know where to go, though. I need to go to the water ruins and kill the uh, goblins there. But yeah, plan for today. Basically, we're going to be preparing to go into Yolkmere Cave next episode. Also, tomorrow is the defluffing festival. That's going to be fun. That's probably one of my favorite ones because of how silly it is. Alright, so now that we have the RP, let's build some shoes. Oh, I also want to make myself a new weapon. Fighting high orcs down there made me realize that I kind of need a better weapon. We're not doing nearly as much damage as I should be. Anyways, uh, shoes. Alright, so let's make some secret shoes. They make me look taller. And then let's shove... Do I have any spare iron? Ooh. Nope, never mind. I'm not good enough to uh, put copper on, or sorry, bronze on yet. Yeah, we're gonna need to stick some, just iron on there for now. If I stick one more, I don't think it'll really help. So what's the base of, actually wait, what is the base stats of this thing? 12. So if I put on four pieces of iron, let's see how much defense we end up with. At least we're getting better at crafting. Ooh, that still took a ton of RP. Alright, so where is it? Yeah, we only got three defense because after three you get diminishing returns. And diminishing returns of one is zero. So I'm just gonna put those on. Alright, that should help. Anyways, I still need to make myself an accessory. Here, you know what? Lost still have the RP, I'm gonna run over to the water ruins real quick. I still need like a knife piece. And those are dropped mostly from goblins. They can be dropped from orcs, but they're kind of rare. That being said, knowing my luck, I'm not going to get one right now. Yeah, that's a shame. Here, let's go a bit further in. That being said, now our equipment is good enough that these guys aren't really a problem in the slightest. Honestly, right now, the biggest problem is the fact that I'm really low in RP. Here, let's backtrack a bit. Nope, still nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna fight a few more before we're heading back. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be throwing them either. That takes more RP than just hitting them. Oh, is that it? Oh, there we go, perfect. That's all I wanted. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm still pretty low on RP. I might have to wait until tomorrow to craft this, to be honest. For now, let me just go double check to make sure I don't have any more requests I can take. Nope, we're good. Alright, yeah, it's time for bed. Tomorrow is a big day. It's festival day, with the festival music. We're gonna beat everyone. Oop, nope. So yeah, defluffing. It starts at 11 like almost every other festival. So we have a little bit of time to kill. First things first, let's check on requests. Uh, what can I do? Ooh, is my water skill 15 or higher yet? What is my magic skill at the moment? Fist is not magic. Earth? Oh, so close to that actually. Okay, if I can get Earth Magic up to 15... Actually, I can probably do that right now. Let me just double check to make sure this is actually increasing it. Oh yeah, one more spell should do it. There we go. Anyways, we just raised our Earth Magic skill up to 15. 
Yes, we know. It's pretty obvious which spells are belong to... Usually it's pretty obvious which spells belong to which type of magic. But we raise it up. And we got water... Wait, didn't we already have water laser? Actually, I swore we already got water laser from the... From the water ruins. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, never mind. We were supposed to get water laser from the water ruins, but I guess I forgot to pick it up. Oh well, I have water laser now. It shoots water. Alright, what else can I do? Uh, upgrade some armor. We have definitely done that. Ooh, silver. We're getting silver in like an entire dungeon early. But yeah, we've already upgraded some armor. So we can turn that in. Uh, what do we got here? Right, silver. Alright, and I think I can do one more request. Oh, do I have any nutrients? Here, I think they provide a nutrient uh, whenever we do this quest. Please provide one. So yeah, these are basically additives you can put on top of crops. We've actually seen them before. Okay, good. We do get one for free. Uh, what is this? Formula A? I want yeah, Formula A. This will make crops grow faster. Here, let's apply it on some crops right now. What would grow- actually, I'm gonna put it right here on these yams. So yeah, Formula A. Actually, let me check one more thing before we put that down. Okay, so if we put Formula A on... Yeah, see? The growth just went up by 0.4%. So now anything in this soil will grow 0.4 times faster. It's pretty handy to use nutrients. Most nutrients only affect the soil, though, not the actual crop. So it will actually help out future crops as well. For the most part. Anyways, moon drops are done. Uh, potatoes are done. I'll grab those in a second. Wait, what am I doing? Whoops. No, 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 no. Give me that back. Drop it. Drop it. Good boy. I don't want him harvesting for me. In fact, oh yeah, that was kind of a waste. I completely forgot that at this point my woolly can start taking care of the fields for me. I am silly. I guess I've just gotten so used to actually watering everything. Actually, I could have just had him work on the middle field today. Here, you know what? Here, we'll start working on the middle field for now. Oh, is my- oh, my inventory's full. One second. Let's, uh, ship a few things. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this shirt before I accidentally put it on. Or give it to someone. It's a pretty bad shirt. Uh, the shoes... I'm just gonna keep one of them. I'm gonna sell those. I might keep the flowers just in case. What else can I ship? Everything else I should probably keep. I'm gonna sell that. Yeah, everything else I should probably keep and just stick in the storage and at some point. Oh, also before I forget, we did get an apple tree last time. There we go. Alright, so is my bully actually going to come out or... No, I don't think he's going to come out today, unfortunately. Yeah, because I cancelled out his previous task, he's not going to start until tomorrow. That's fine. In fact, if that's the case, I'm just going to have him keep working on the right field. There we go. Okay. He's gonna leave- no, he's not gonna leave to go work. Also, they already picked up the shipping and I didn't get to ship everything. Eh, that's fine. I'll either ship it tomorrow or just use it as cooking materials. Alright then, fields have been taken care of. These aren't done yet, are they? No, not yet. Let's go turn that request that we just got. Oh, and I still need to go find uh, Dialus and give him some sashimi. I completely forgot to do that yesterday. Also, yeah, use magnifying glass to examine soil. And we got some greenifier. Greenifier increases the level of your crops, I believe. Yeah, it does. It increases soil quality. Perfect. You know what? Never mind. Alright, so we have some time to kill until 11. 
And no, we are not going over the rules, because I want to go over the rules when we get there. Who is the favorite to win, anyways? Oh. Doug is apparently the favorite to win. That's kind of surprising. Oh, yeah, the woolly. Clorka, did you just talk to yourself? You can have one as a pet. They're not that hard to, uh... They're not that hard to take care of. Hmm. I like golden ones. Rune Factory 3 references. Anyways, uh, are you up to anything, Barrett? Yes, how long have you- <laughs> Yes, that lizard. Like, you could literally see her at any time. Well, now might not be a good time for that, actually. Alright, but yeah, we have until 11 uh, before the festival starts. Let's do a bit of crafting while we're waiting. So I did want to make myself some mail, but ooh, the RP cost is still pretty high. And even if I did have max RP, that might be a problem. Here, I think I'm gonna try leveling up my crafting skill a bit, actually. Oh, I wish I didn't sell that shirt. Oh well. Oh wait, no, I know what I can make. What am I talking about? Here, let's make a leather belt. Also, I'm gonna see if I can get something to work with the uh, accessories. So with accessories, you can actually stack other accessories onto them and get the stats from everything. Question is, I'm not sure if it'll work this early in the game. I'm not sure we need a minimum uh, crafting level. One way to find out. Because I think I have... Don't I have like a spare... Cheap bracelet? Here we go. So this one increases magic defense. And the, the belt increases normal defense. Let me see if this will work. And I'm also going to stick a piece of iron on there, because why not? There we go. We made a good leather belt. So what's our magic defense right now? It is 46. And if we put this on... Yeah, it didn't work. Oh well. Yeah, I think it only works with accessories if they have like a hidden stat, or a hidden benefit that isn't just based on stats. Either way, we have a real accessory now. We have a belt. Anyways, let's see what else is happening around town. Hey, welcome. Hi, Doug. So, I hear you're the favorite to win. I am going to beat you. I don't care what it takes. Also, uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to grab some seeds. Come again, okay? I want to fill in that hole in the fields that I made. Oh, I could have actually bought flowers. Actually, we should probably be buying flower seeds. I'm pretty sure that we planted everything. Welcome. Did we plant pink cats yet? I... I think we have. Here, you know what? Or not pink cats. Uh, moon drops. No, we have planted moon drops. Have we planted pink cats? I think we have, but I'll plant two more just in case. Because I do want to plant all three types of flowers at any point. Just to do that uh, request that's been sitting there for the last week. Here, you know what? While we have time, let's plant. I might want to take a bath later, too. Oh, and I want to get some recipe bread. I want to get myself some new weapons. Oops. Alright, those are planted. Those are planted. I'm pretty sure I have pink cats planted somewhere. Yeah, they're right here. Eh, oh well. I know always sell the excess flowers. Or keep them. Also, I don't have any sashimi. Oh, wait, no. I do have sashimi. Never mind. I think I found that on the floor. Oh yeah, I definitely found that on the floor of the dungeon. Morning. All right. You know what, Dylas? I think we're gonna get along just fine. Mostly because we both want to be Doug. Anyways, have some sashimi. Well, yes. Anyways, uh... Oh, he's not down yet. Oh wait, yes he is. Can you sell me some bread standing on the stairs? Yes, you can. As long as he's in the room, he functions as a shop. Same with Dialus. Anyways, I want... Honestly, I might want to just get all weapon bread at this point. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to get two weapon bread. 
And I'm gonna get one accessory bread. What do we got? We learned how to make a basket, which is a staff for some reason. And we learned how to make Kote. I forget what that is. And we learned how to make a friendly rod. Oh, uh, what else can we learn? We can make a normal rod, and that's it. And then we learned how to make a lo Oh god, why did we learn how to make a Lolita headdress? And silver boots. That might be a bit overkill right now. I do have silver, though. Still, let me see uh, what I need to make those gloves. Let me see if I even have enough RP and skill points for these. Oh no, we need a palm claw. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Palm claws we can't get until after this dungeon. That's a shame. Well, in that case, I could just maybe make a good sword. A steel sword plus wouldn't be a bad idea. What's the attack on that? 48. Actually, no, my gloves are still higher. Maybe a long sword might be good. I can't make any other long swords. Okay, you know what? I'll figure it out later. Honestly, I can probably just stick with the gloves and just throw enemies like crazy. Oh, it's only 10 o'clock. Whoops. Alright, we have a little bit of time to kill. Hi, Keel. Pancakes. Pretty sure she's mentioned that she loves pancakes. Also, actually, can I buy any better weapons here right now? I could maybe try going for a good set of dual blades. Wouldn't be a bad idea, actually, now that I think about it. We'll see. I'll look into what weapons I can make later. Probably between episodes. Oh god, everyone's crowded here. Yeah, sometimes the pathing of... Oh, we never... Oh, we never saw her cutscene before. I completely forgot. I guess we've never talked to her since we recruited her. Okay, listen. I didn't walk into town. It is really peaceful. We haven't been attacked ever. They're besties. Unfortunately, we don't actually get to see Pico wandering around town. She's just kind of a part of Dose. Doshe? Still can't pronounce her name properly for some reason. Anyways, we have a little bit of time. Oh, I do know what I want to do. I do want to do a bit of, do a bit of fishing. Here, let's get a bit, bit of fish so that we can make our own sashimi. I'm kind of getting tired of having to rely on floor sashimi all the time. Besides, I think you also get a bonus uh, if you actually made it yourself in terms of friendship. We got trout. Can I make sashimi out of that? Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. It's, uh, what is it? It's 11 o'clock. Let's go participate. We are definitely participating. So yeah, Giant Wooly. Where, where did you find that? I want one of those for the farm. So yeah, basically the defluffing festival is you get a giant wool and you have to cut all the wool off. And you don't cut them off with clippers, you cut them off with weapons. But yeah, uh, honestly, dual blades are probably my favorite for this fight, just because the fact that you hit them so quickly kind of indicates the fact that you don't get as many points out of them. Spo or spoon. Yeah, spoon is pretty good too, but I think I'm going to go with dual blades. Let's do this. So yeah, rules, basically hit the woolly as many times as you can, get all the wool off. That's all you have to do. Hmm. 
Let's do this. Come here, Wooly. It doesn't hurt the Wooly at all. Oh, also, I think I got stuck against the wall. That's actually kind of perfect. We also get tiny Woolies. But we don't care about the tiny Woolies. All the tiny Woolies are going to do is try to defend the big Woolie. Also, oh my god, that Woolie does not look healthy anymore. I think we got most of the wool off. Yeah, I think we got most of the wool off, so now we're just getting bonus points. No, I don't know where all these tiny Woolies are coming from either. Also, no, we don't actually have to pick up the fur. Actually, I wonder, if I pick up the... Can I keep the wool? Oh, another ghoulie. Give me that. Yeah, I forgot. We also get multiple woolies in this game. Or uh, in this festival. I completely forgot that there were more than one giant woolies. Oops. Alright, so how much... How many points did I get? I kind of wasn't paying attention. Actually, it's right there. Ooh, we won by 85 points. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just scale it up to whatever you have. If you have a certain amount of points, you always win. But I won by 85 points with my dual blades. Alright, what did we get? Also, I'm kind of curious about something. I've never tried this before. Did I? Oh! Oh, we actually did keep, keep uh, we did get to keep the wool that we picked up. That's interesting. Huh, I've never tried that before, but now I know. Also, there's a war hammer here. And cooking bread. Yeah, like I said, cooking bread is probably the most common prize in every festival. So yeah, that's deep fluffing. Oh, actually, let me see that war hammer real quick. Oh my god. That is a massive increase to attack. Here, let me see something too. So yeah, so much for having to make a new weapon. I think we're good. Especially if I pair it with a rush attack. Yeah. We don't have to worry about how slow hammers are with rush attack. Okay then. In that case, I guess once I make some armor. I think we'll be ready for the dungeon next time. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna make the armor right now. I'm gonna go take a bath. Okay, never mind. I was gonna take a bath, but then I realized festival day. They're kind of closed. And unfortunately, no, this isn't a Baldo shop where it's like an honor system. Man. Let me try something. I think I've tried this. No, never mind. I already tried this before. Besides, they're not good enough friends to follow me anyways. I was gonna try dragging one of them into the uh, shop for me to take a bath. Oh, well. Anyways, with that, I think I'll end the episode here. Bit of a shorter one, but a lot happened. Well, a giant woolly happened. I really need to find one of those things so I can recruit it for the farm. It is fun, isn't it? Uh, wait, Arthur. You're the one who provided the woolly. Arthur, where did you get it? But yeah, giant woolies are cute. I am kind of getting suspicious of Arthur at this point. The creepy intro cutscene and the fact that he apparently just got a giant woolly out of nowhere. You know what? It's fine. We're not marrying him after all. So, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4, we're gonna make ourselves some better armor and then we're off to the Yolk Mirror Cave. So, till then.